What's up guys? Do you hear that behind me? This is the Copart Mustang that I bought. It made it home, no problem. And then, hear it now? So what we're gonna do is I suspect that it's either a pulley or the belt. And we are going to check right now. So I'm gonna pour some water on the belt. If this noise goes away, then it will be most likely the belt. So I'm gonna try to do it nice and gently. Look at that. So it looks like I might need a new belt. Which they're like 20 bucks on Amazon. So, stick around. Of course, when you're gonna be watching this video, it's just gonna cut, and then it's gonna be me with a belt. So, one, two, three, bam! Here we are. The new belt is here. So, I am going to start by taking off the old belt. I'm gonna try to do it without taking off the intake or removing anything, because technically it should be really easy. Just loosen the belt, take it off, and put the new one back on. Okay, so it looks like I won't need, where is it? I won't need to take off the intake. Here is your tensioner. This tube is gonna be slightly in the way, but you could still reach it. And this is what you'll need. I think it's a half an inch. And it basically goes down here and inserts into the slot all the way at the bottom. Okay, here we go, here's the setup. See, if I let go, it will tighten the belt. I needed an extra pipe, call it my own breaker bar, because the other one wasn't long enough. This way it's much easier. So what you do is pull it back. You see the slack? I should be able to remove the belt now. I took the belt off the alternator. And please make sure that you have everything set up correctly, because if something slips, and your finger is under that belt, that will be extremely painful. So just have safety in mind as the number one priority. I don't want anyone losing fingers. But now you could gently release it. I'm just gonna leave the bar here and I'm gonna take off the belt. This is what the old belt looks like. Keep in mind when you put the new belt on, it's gonna be a little bit smaller because this old belt uh, most likely have has stretched during its lifetime but let's start putting in the new belt here's the new one I got this on Amazon I paid I think 20 bucks for it 19.99 so I'm gonna unpackage it and we're gonna start putting it on okay, hopefully you guys could see it. there's the new belt See, it's still a little loose. Now I'm gonna move the tensioner right here towards myself like this, and then put the new belt on. Done deal. So before I start the car, I'm gonna do a visual inspection, make sure all the ridges are on there. I checked the belt, everything looked great, started it up and no more squeal. So there you go guys, 20 bucks. And it was the belt. I think I lucked out that it wasn't a pulley because that's a little bit harder to replace and it, it would require taking off more parts to get to the pulley easier. But the belt, you know, it took me 10, 15 minutes to replace and it cost 20 bucks.